Now I definitely remember being told this one at school. The most popular myth of them all, that we only use 10% of our brains. This myth is fueled by some Hollywood movies, where a character manages to unlock 100% of their brain and becomes a goddamn genius. Whilst I would love to believe all those movies, a neurologist by the name of Barry Gordon has proved them all wrong. His study proved that we use pretty much all of our brain. Every part is active almost all of the time. So much so that even if just 1% of our brain was severely damaged, the effects would be disastrous. It's quite a common belief that diamonds are formed when coal becomes highly compressed over time. But surprisingly, that's wrong. Diamonds are made in shafts filled with rocks that are formed by volcanoes. And coal and diamonds are hardly ever found in the same place. Coal is found near the Earth's surface, whilst diamonds are found in the mantle and pushed up by volcanic eruptions. I think this myth is simply a case of Chinese whispers. It's almost correct. It's right in the way that they are formed by intense heat and pressure. The only thing that's wrong is that they're formed from carbon and not coal. Now this one regarding Einstein is one I've heard before and I've seen it quite a few times on Facebook. The story goes that Einstein, one of the most well-known scientific geniuses, couldn't even pass one of his early school maths exams. I admit I was taken in by this when I first heard it, but it turns out it's not true at all. Einstein was a mathematical genius. Before he was 12 his brain was destroying equations without even trying. He passed all of his exams with flying colours, and he was probably so advanced he should have been teaching the class. Now some people say that stained glass windows in old churches are thicker at the bottom. This led to the belief that glass flows over time. That's not true. Glass doesn't slowly flow, and church windows are like that because of how they were made. The glass is a liquid myth was debunked when scientists studied a 20 million year old lump of amber. They discovered that glass is neither a liquid or a solid. It's in an amorphous state somewhere between the two. We're taught in school that there's no gravity in space, but again, that's not true. I know, I know, but the people that didn't know this, you're gonna be thinking I'm lying because, well, you've seen astronauts floating around in space on TV. Simply put, there is gravity in space, just not very much of it. See, objects with a mass exert a gravitational pull. As the strength of the pull depends on mass and distance, the further away astronauts get from mass, the weaker gravity is. And as space is full of objects, there's always a little bit of gravity. In school, we're taught that our tongues have specific areas that are susceptible to different tastes. Salt, bitter, sour, sweet or savoury. Now in all fairness, we can't really blame teachers for this one. It's been widely believed by pretty much everyone, up until recently where a study disproved it. The study proved that any one of several thousand sensors on our tongue can recognise any taste as well as the next. If you look at the veins on your arms, you'll see them as blue, but despite what some of you may have been taught at school, it's not actually blue blood that's running through them. The common myth is that deoxygenated blood is blue, whilst blood leaving the heart is red because it's just been filled with fresh oxygen. They also say that when you bleed, the blood is immediately red because it's just been exposed to oxygen in the air, which again, is not true. The reason your veins are blue is simply a trick of the light and the way your eyes perceive colour. I can totally assure you the blood in your veins is red. And that brings this list to an end. If you enjoyed the video then it would be much appreciated if you give it a thumbs up and shared it. If you're new around here then why not subscribe for new videos just like this every week. Anyways, I jolly well hope you liked it and as always, thanks for watching.